yeah, this video is about my hair has a mind of its own and it completely does and I'm smiling a lot right now because I'm really excited to be on YouTube but you know what? I'm really not happy right now. I'm really annoyed like I'm annoyed. Like I couldn't be more annoyed if I tried. Okay, let me tell you the story. So last night I put my hair up in two strand twists, regular twists, probably like 10 to 12 twists all over my head and I don't know if that's normal for you guys but that takes me like an hour um, I think I'm slow, I don't know. It was real simple, all I did was, you know, I put extra virgin olive oil, real quick, just olive oil all over, then I put castor oil all over, and then each twist that I was about to twist, I, um, put my As I Am, I just got this. Normally I use Suave Tropical Coconut Conditioner and some water. But yeah, I also put, I wet my hands first before I put the leave-in. After I put the two oils, I wet my hands, wet the hair for some moisture because the hair was like desert dry. And then each twist, I put some leave-in conditioner on each twist. It came out like really beautifully. It came out really nice. And my hair, no lie, was like this long, like almost collarbone. So everything was hanging like in the middle of here, was hanging like off here-ish. And on the bottom here was hanging like around here ish so it was looking well like collarbone so it was looking like a long shoulder length and almost for real yo for real and i was happy i was good and no lie in an hour of being outside and and going to work and stuff like for real because there was a lot of moisture in the air it was this length this length and the, the, you know when you do a twist out you have that that little twist, that little curl, even though the hair is still kinky because this is like 4C hair, it's still 4C, but you still have that curl from the twist. So it was looking like that. It was an obvious twist out, kinky because my hair is kinky, but you know, nice, you know, and like this long. So I loved it. I was really liking it a lot. And then here is my hair now. At the end of the day, but no lie, in an hour it was like this. I'm just so, so annoyed, so upset. It's like my hair has a mind of its own. The thing that bothers me the most is that it's shorter. Like that bothers me. Point blank, period. That So everything bothers me on an equal level. Like there's nothing I'm kind of okay with. Everything bothers me. The fact that it's shorter and the fact that the curl pattern is completely altered. You know when some people are like, oh, you know, it's kinky hair, it gets a little bit bigger, it's a little bit fuller, and it's a little bit different. Disclaimer, I love this, okay? Like, no lie, like, for real. I would say God strike me down if I'm not telling the truth. I honestly love this. But what I don't love is that I spent an hour to over an hour preparing my hair to have it be just gone to crap, just gone, like in an hour. I spent a lot of time putting the twist in, making it nice, moisturizing it, having it be longer, cause it was stretched, and then like that. Everything I just worked on is like over, it's over. The only thing I have is that it's soft, I love that. But everything I just put all the energy into is done, it's dead. And I'm just so like out of it. I'm just so annoyed guys. I'm just so like beyond. But this is the thing. Y'all know that I always have to roll the ends. Well I I still, that is always and forever gonna be the case. I always have to roll the ends. But I just was lazy last night. Lazy and it still took me like an hour, right? Um, I did not roll the ends. So this is a normal regular twist out. I didn't put rollers on the ends. But it doesn't matter that this technique doesn't work out. I'm still always going to have to do it because I always have to roll the ends of my hair to prevent knotting and, you know, split ends. Because when my hair knots, it, it does knot everywhere, but mostly it knots on the ends. And when the ends are knotted, when I, even when I'm gentle with it, for real, it pops on the, it pops on the ends. It doesn't matter what I do. If I do not roll the ends, the ends get knotted, they pop, and what is that doing? That's thinning the ends of my hair. So whenever I want to wear like a mini twist or any kind of like protective style with my own hair, or 
More importantly, if I ever want to straighten my hair, I straighten my hair once to twice a year, my ends would look thin. Who wants thin ends? You know, it's all about health number one. So no matter what happens with my hair being a little monster and having a mind of its own, I will always have to roll the ends, which I like. I don't mind. It's not a problem for me. But it is time consuming. But I could just plait it up in four and roll the ends. But I will always have to roll the ends to prevent knotting and, and thinning of the ends of my hair. Depressing. I'm just so over it. And it's, it's just completely gone. Like the curl pattern is completely gone from the twist out. There's just no, it's just gone. It's done. It's just dead. It's just gone. Oh my god. This is totally a rant video, but I mean, I really do love this. Like, okay, so this is my new thing that I'm going to, and I'm going to tell you what it is right now for my hair and the whole humidity thing, but I'm going to make a separate video telling, you know, like illustrating my point. But what I'm going to do to not, to get over this and stop being stressed out about my hair shrinking and the curl pattern changing to my more natural curl pattern, instead of the one that I took over an hour to put in like a twist or a braid which is so annoying what I'll do is I'll do my braid or my twist out which I have to do to you know keep my ends free and tangle free but I'll do my I'll probably like plait it up in four braids four or five braids and roll the ends uh, you know because I have to roll my ends I leave the ends loose and I roll them to prevent knotting as I said before so I'll do that and then I'll take it out, right? So this is right when I wake up, before I take my shower. I'll take that out, I'll fluff it up and style it. Like I love to pick, put bobby pins like in the front, like here. So I'll do that and I'll style it as if it was a regular thing, okay? And it'll be long like to here because that's just, you know, that's my hair. And I'll have it and it'll be like, oh, as if I'm going out, but no. Then I'll go take my shower and I take warm showers and I'll let the heat and the steam from my shower get into it, no shower cap, and then it'll look something more like this, and then I can get ready and everything and look at my hair the way it looks and have that expectation in, instead of having one style and then have it be changed and altered into something completely different that I then have to go to the bathroom and check, oh my gosh, this is totally different, let me shape it into something cute versus oh it's already shrunken and already shaped into a cute shape so that I don't have to worry about it throughout the day and I know what to expect during my day. It's so annoying to go to work one way and then like not even halfway through the day it's a completely different hairstyle and I'm like completely like WTF. I like predictability. I like to know that I put a style in my hair and that's the style that my hair is going Guys, if you like, like the video, day, don't forget to subscribe, like, oh comment, God, and share it with your friends. If you want to hang out really and see what I'm doing with my hair on a regular yeah, basis, I'm, visit I'm, me on my website at beautybyNarja.com, like me on 10, Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. 10, All links in the description box. I don't like it. However, I do really, really like my shrinkage because it makes my hair look so much shorter than it actually is like here you know and it's like a magic trick you know I really love that I love the optical illusion wait it's kind of tangled right here Ta okay this is a side this is not even my longest section but you get what I'm saying like the shrinkage like my hair is here and here it is I love that about my hair that I can just fool people but that's wonderful. I love that. So if I ever straighten my hair, it, you know, it looks long. And I, I do want to straighten my hair pretty soon because I only do it like once to two times a year, you know, because I don't, I don't play around. I don't mess around with heat. I don't play with that whole heat damage thing. Uh -uh. It's a love-hate thing. It's a love-hate thing. Like, but the price that comes with that is that 90% of the time, almost all the time, all you get to see is short hair. All you see is short hair all the time because the hair always wants to... And you know when you're a girl and you're a girly girl, you want your hair to be longer sometimes. I already did a length check. I don't need to do it again. I'm just messing around with my hair. 
So you get the point, right? So that's totally what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that whole steam shower thing. Like I'm going to steam my hair and then style it. So yeah. And this is totally a rant video, a ramble. Again, total love-hate relationship. Most of the time it's hate, but in the end it's love because when the hair shrinks up, that's when you know if you have shrinky hair like myself, that's when you know that it's healthy and there's nothing wrong with your hair. So I, you know, love hate, love hate. Okay, but mostly love. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, I changed, guys, you gotta know, I changed my Google Plus page. So please like me over there. Like, give me a plus. There's a button you can press. Say plus on Google Plus. And follow me on Google Plus. I have the link down below. I changed it. It's a completely new one. And I'm shutting my old Google Plus page down. If it's not shut down already, it's going to be shut down in the next couple of days. Okay? So thank you for following me there and checking it out and whatnot, so on and so forth. And I will see you on the next video. Later. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share it with your friends. If you want to hang out and see what I'm doing with my hair on a regular basis, visit me on my website at beautybynarja.com, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. All links in the description box.